an interesting journalist, you know, and a, a photographer journalist, as a photojournalist. Can you describe her really, I suppose, because she seems so weary and battle-hardened as, as well, doesn't she? Yes, I think when you've seen all the horrors that Lee has seen, it's impossible not to carry that with you in some ways. Um, and I think that, you know, as she goes from New York to Washington, D.C. with her with the, the other journalists, um, I feel like Jesse, who play, who's played by Kaylee Spaney, her influence on what's happening to Lee is at odds with Lee herself. And so it, it starts to make her vulnerable in a way that I don't think she has been in a very long time. Mm. There's that job of being a war correspondent. And I think it is said even amongst journalists that there's something quite addictive about it. Do you, can you see that, you know, coming in to play somebody? Of course, because nothing is compared to what you've seen. So nothing feels quite alive or real um, when you come home, I think. Like, you can't enjoy the, a simple meal or, you know, or going out to dinner or going to the movies. Everything is not as real. It must feel like a fake world going back to normalcy. Did you find it quite interesting that Alex's script, you know, it wasn't why, why has this happened? It's just the reality of it. And from the moment, you're kind of strapped in for a real roller coaster, aren't you? Yes, you are. It, you're, you're immediately implemented in this war um, with this three-term president and the whole United States is in chaos and in a war within itself. So you're immediately, yeah, in that world, going on this road trip with these with these journalists, which is a really interesting device, actually, to use journalism, but it's also the way you know to get the story. That kind of yeah, the way, how far journalists will go as well to yes. get that story. Oh yeah, to, to 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 risk their lives, and I mean that's that's their job and their meaning of meaning in life is to to capture that. I think it's a really interesting relationship between Lee and Jesse, mm -hmm. and played by Kaylee, as you said, I um, had the pleasure of meeting Kaylee myself, and wonderful, uh, wonderful actor. Um, in terms of just the relationship you both developed, was that, it was that you know, how, how was that for, for both of you to work together? It was very natural. As soon as I met Kaylee, I felt a kinship and that I wanted to take care of her. So that feeling was very, it was a very natural progression, not anything we had to work at. And then acting with her was very easy as well. We're, we're both very similar in the way we approach things um, on a set. And so, you know, whatever's on screen was a natural friendship and big sister, little sister dynamic offset. How interesting was it for you to be filming these close combat scenes. I mean, I think Alex was really going handheld quite a lot of the time. It was, you, well, you tell me, but, uh, you know, but to, to be in that kind of, I know you're, I appreciate you're, you're filming a movie, but there are, you know, the sounds of bullets flying and you're in, in incredible, it looks like you're in incredibly close combat. Yeah, I think the way he shot it, every scene feels very immersive. And I think that's why it's so shocking and why it's different than a lot of other kind of war movies. It feels like an anti-war movie in a way. And I think that having a bunch of cameras on the car and in the car when we're driving made it feel like we were alone as opposed to, you know, rigged up to a camera truck. We were actually driving. And and so I think all those things make you feel like you're really part of it. And yes, he he wanted all the sounds to be as real as possible. So instead of using half rounds or quarter rounds. We used full rounds for, for the gunfire and explosions and tanks and it all, there were so many people and cameras around that it was like they were filming a documentary towards the end. Wow, that must, have, that must be quite affecting. It is, yeah. It's very loud, <laughs> it's very intense, it's very intense. Yeah. How is it as somebody, you know, born in America? I mean, there's, Alex is making a film set in an American Civil War, you know, yeah. the peacekeeper of the world, really, or it's enjoyed that title, hasn't it, for, for a little while? Yeah, I felt more like, I didn't think about America. I thought about other countries and what they're going through when we were filming this. I didn't really think just about America. I thought, I, I really thought about just being in war no matter what country you're in, is how I felt making it. You know, it's all too real, isn't it, really? Yeah, I mean, for me, I, I really, the, 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 jur the journalist that 
I connected with the most through the docu documentaries that I viewed for this film was the Maria Colvin documentary called Under the Wire. You've seen that film? Yeah. I mean, that That's the one that spoke to me at, as someone who I'd like to, Lee to be like, mm -hmm. like a Maria Colvin. So that, that was who was the biggest inspiration for me. And I guess Lee is, you know, that she's got a big line and it's in the trailer, so it's not a spoiler about how she's been in so many countries and it's basically a message of don't do Warning. this. Warning, yeah. You know, and, and here, here they are doing it. Yeah, yeah, I think it's, uh, that's war in general, you know. N it seems like the same mistakes are made over and over and over again. And I think that these warnings, this movie is a warning in an anti-war film to me. I think that just the just finishing up the most the, the most shocking scene is um, is is the scene where um, they're asked what kind of Americans are you? Yes, you know that is a shocking scene played brilliantly by someone who's quite close to you as yeah. well. The I father of my children, <laughs> yeah. the most terrifying man in the movie. <laughs> but that that scene was was that one of the hardest scenes to film? Just out of interest. Not for me because we don't have much interaction. But looking at it and watching the other actors. And the set, when I first saw it, was very intense and very, like, palpable in the feelings of what's happening to all the characters. Um, but because I'm not being attacked, as the other people are in the scene, I also had a chance to, you know, watch... Jesse and not be terrified, but be impressed by him as an actor. And the way Alex shot it was very like 360. So it was the feeling again of a, like a play, like we're all doing it together at the same time. It's not like, here's your close up, here's your close up, we're gonna do a wide shot. It's the camera on a crane, like constantly moving and catching things to make it feel as alive as possible. Everyone's in it together. Fantastic film.